Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are good, I hope everything is fine on your side and you are enjoying my videos. Um, you know, um, I hope also that you are safe during the conflict that we have going on. Um, and uh, you know, I've uh, uploaded so many facade videos. I think today we kind of need a little bit, uh, a little bit of break from facades, right? So um, you know, I have decided to make a video on uh, metal uh, claddings. Okay, metal claddings—they're extremely, um, they're an extremely important part of the construction industry. Um, for example, you know, if you simply go to Google, my point of showing you Google and everything is that because you know, I honestly want you to learn, right? I want you to learn from my workflow. Uh, we are all human beings, right? I mean, uh, you know, when you're learning something new at the start, it's going to be a bit uh, hard, but uh, with time, if you give it more time, of course, you are going to master it at one point or not. Um, so, you know, um, these check this out. So, these are metal cladding. So, have you ever thought about uh, how do we make this inside rabbit? That's the video for today. And uh, we are going to be making this exact same thing inside Revit today. And uh, you know, they are extensively used inside the construction industry. For example, check this out. Simply go to Google and write a metal sheet claddings. And there are so many structures that uh, use this. They have so many advantages. And uh, you know, these are claddings and they're good for architectural decor and uh, architectural design. And they even have advantages, right? so these are all metal cladding so this is a metal cladding and uh, you know they're even used inside uh, uh, these are uh, these peb structures all right which are pre-engineered structures i'm going to make a separate video on this this is a complete separate video it's a separate concept these are you know peb structures right peb the alphabets peb which is uh, pre-designed engineering structures so I'm even going to make this, an, uh, you know, it's a different video. I'm going to make a video on this. And uh, these are claddings, right? You must have seen them in so many places. We are going to try to replicate the structure today. Look at how beautiful it is. And, uh, you know, for example, if we uh, open another tab and if you write metal sheet cladding profile. So this is something that is going to pop out. And we are going to try to make the exact same thing inside Revit. Uh, this is the profile that we are going to make. So, you know, for example, if we go to Revit and if we uh, open up an architecture template, if we go to UN, we change that to millimeters. Uh, you know, the concept that we are going to follow is that we're going to use mullions, right? Uh, mullions. We are going to use, uh, we're going to make a new mullion family. And uh, for example, this, and if we go to profile mullion, and uh, we're going to make our cladding in this, and then we are going to you know load that family into a project right so, so let's uh, simply go to we have opened the million family let's go to rp let's uh, let's select on this and uh, let's just write 150 mm so 150 mm on both sides all right done now uh, let's go to UN. first of all we did not change the units um two decimal places m all right all right okay done and uh, now we'll try to replicate this profile uh for example let's go to create line and uh, you know before doing that we have to make our profile parametric right so that's extremely important so press di and one two and uh, three and set the constraint and now we have uh, we have um, you know installed or set a constraint so both of these sides are going to be equal the second is the changing the dimension into a parametric um into a parametric property we want to we want to control this all right so what is this uh, w i d t h width of uh, m u l l i o n width of mullion profile okay now let's go to that and let's change this to <laughs> 300 all right so it got changed to 300 that's fine now let's make our actual profile and let's lock it into these lines so uh, for example uh, this is the profile that we are going to try to replicate um 30 and 45 30 and 55 30 and 60 okay 30 and 60 and uh, now let's uh, go to so this is 150 mm right if we press our cursor in and uh, if we come right here so 150 mm the half of that is 75 right so that is 75 and we have successfully mirrored it <laughs> excuse me we have successfully uh, mirrored it now let's do the same so how about we mirror this down and uh, now if we click on this if we click on this let's press mv to move this and uh, 
okay that is done uh, our progress is good now let's just um, um, I clicked the wrong place okay now let's uh, connect and uh, connect and now you know uh, these metal cladings they kind of have these gauges right gauges in a way are the thickness of this so let's try to um, create line and uh, first let's press this okay no uh, line yes this is what I want now uh, you know the gauges can be anything uh, how about uh, uh, 4 mm um, uh, 4 mm so this is the a 4 mm gauge It's going to be quite a thick one all right <laughs> uh, it's going to be a thick metal cladding um, all right and uh, finally this now let's try to connect this um, back to zero and uh, one and two and uh, let's go to two two to what trim and extent one and two okay so this is our profile uh, it's nothing you know it's nothing hard uh, so now let's just complete our profile so trim and extend one and two okay now let's try to lock uh, our profile to these parametric to these reference lines so that our profile becomes parametric uh, okay locked click this again uh, locked um, click this again uh, locked okay done now the same case for this so click this click this okay locked uh, profile and locked and profile and uh, locked what error cannot be ignored the dimension would over constrain the sketch okay then cancel it fine no big deal now if we go to our family types and if we uh, write what 400 yes so check this out our profile is uh, our parametric profile is successful 300 perfect right um so uh, 350 I think this is um, the correct um, you could say width for this so loading to the project now we have loaded that mullion family and you know let's try to quickly replicate this all right so there are um, let's go to south um, let's click on this uh, CO and uh, 3048 right so C okay done and uh, DI so one and two and three what is this 3048 mm, that's 3048 okay done now let's go back to our, our um, level one and let's go to walls and uh, rectangles and uh, from um, level one to to what to level two and uh, let's um, draw this okay done and uh, now um, let's go from level uh, and you know for the mullions let's try to replicate our mullions most importantly see we're going to use a curtain wall we'll go to level two and uh in this case we are gonna go to walls and uh curtain wall now back to rectangle from level two to level three and uh, it is wall center line right so this is the center line and uh, let's go to here all right <laughs> excuse me and uh, let's go back to our 3d view let's close all inactive views and everything sounds perfect everything looks perfect and uh, you know so uh, let's uh, click on one of them let's press tab to click all let's go to edit let's go to duplicate so metal um, -E metal c l a d d r n g so this is going to be the metal cladding wall and this is you know the layout we're going to use the layout right uh, so fixed distance and if you guys remember the width of that was 350 mm so 350 uh, mm and okay i check this out so we have made our our curtain grid now mullions and uh, all grid and edit type and uh, duplicate and uh, m e t a l metal c l a d t r n g okay and in the profile <laughs> excuse me this is where the magic is going to happen this is the family four that we initially made and we loaded in in uh, okay okay and uh, now uh, all of them are selected so yes uh, delete um, so check this out guys our video is in a way already complete uh, this is our metal cladding look at how beautiful it is and we have successfully made it uh, delete elements we have even made that wall and uh, delete elements so you know the workflow we followed is that um, we have we made the metal cladding as a million <laughs> excuse me as a million family and we 
uh, uploaded that modulated family into our system. So we're in hidden uh, lines, right? Let's try to improve our um, diagram a little bit. Let's activate both of these. Let's activate sketchy lines. Let's go to depth tuning. Okay, let's leave that for the lightning. Okay, for the background, let's go to sky. Okay, and much, much better. Look at this. So, um, you know, I said we've tried to replicate. <laughs> I uh, will try to replicate this. Look at how beautiful this is. Now, if we go to, we're in 3D, we right? If we go to our top view, and if we go to um, roof, 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 where is the roof? Uh, no, level 3. We want our roof to be in level 3. We are in hidden lines. So let's go to this. And let's, uh, we do not want to define a slope. Let's click on this. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's click on this. And uh, let's go to uh, OK. And uh, let's select this. Let's go to slope to glazing. Okay, let's go to edit type and uh, layout. Um, all right, fixed distance. And what was that? It was 350 mm, right? Okay, and we have made that. Now back to architectural. So mullions, uh, all grids, and uh, where is the metal cladding? Okay, metal cladding. Yes, delete the elements and. Uh, 3d and check this out guys <laughs> so our family is complete and uh, you know there are going to be a, a few problems for example this family you can go to right click select mullion all grid and delete and it's going to fix that right so um, for example select uh, mullions on all grid and uh, delete so check this out we, you know we are fixing all the problems that may occur select mullions all grid and uh, delete so check this out guys this is the the mullions that uh, we are just talking about and uh, you know so quickly we have tried to replicate this so look at how beautiful this, <laughs> excuse me look at how beautiful this is and look at how beautiful our model is um and you know it's not bad right although the width is a bit more in our case but uh, look at how beautiful everything looks uh, for example in this case uh, if you go to level one and uh, if we go to split elements, let's split this right here. And if we select this, and if we go to, to what? To metal claddings. And if you go to 3D view, and uh, mullions again, and uh, all grids, uh, rectangular metal cladding. Yes, and delete elements. And look at this, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned so many things from this. And we have, in a way, replicated our, our just a random image that we found on Google. And check this out. Look at how, you know, we are on point, right? Uh, the only thing we have to do is we have to change the color of the Molini to black. And uh, this is it. So check this out. So both of them, it's not exactly accurate, but uh, look at what we have done. And this was done within, what, 5, 10 minutes? If you hurry up, it can be done in 10 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. And look at how accurate our million profile is. So this is the... You know the millions I was talking about. I mean the the metal claddings, and you know the the concept we have followed is that um, we have made our metal claddings as millions, and then we uploaded that millions into our wall, and we finally have a good nice look at look at the profile, look at how accurate this is, and uh, look at so these are metal claddings, and look at our one. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. And stay tuned for more interesting and short videos. All right. Take care of yourself and bye-bye. Uh,